Hello and welcome to another episode of Blake's Take where I unpack customer experience in three minutes or less. Today I bring you my predictions of customer experience for five years out. There are three things that I believe are absolutely critical to your customer experiences you need to be planning for in the next few years because they will be widespread within five years time. The first of these three is logistics. Customers today want everything right away. So we're seeing this arms race when it comes to satisfying those hungry customers, whether it's Amazon promising you products same day or Walmart purchasing a startup called Parcel to compete in this war to get customers products and services faster. We're also seeing more on-demand services where an app will allow you to bring something to your home right away. For example, Soothe offers a massage that you can get same day at your house. So my first prediction is logistics. My second prediction is around advertising and content. Customers today have choice. They can choose to view or not view your ads. And I believe in a very short amount of time, we won't have to deal with ads at all. Sites like Netflix, Hulu, so on and so forth, we can just watch our programming without being interrupted. And we might see more subtle product placement, but if done tastefully, it doesn't bother us. So you'll have to find new ways to get in front of customers other than traditional advertising, which is completely on its way out. We're even seeing companies like Comcast selling services like Netflix, and I believe we'll see more cable companies not able to compete with this on-demand uh, programming like Netflix. My third trend is the concept store. Even recently, we heard of Nordstrom, a very famous retailer. They have a new store that does not sell clothes. You go to the store, someone greets you, they help style you, so you get personalized styling. And while you're waiting for your products to be delivered to the store and tailored right in front of you, you can have a latte or get a manicure. So I believe more of these concept stores will become popular. Another example is Verizon Wireless. I recently interviewed Scott Zimmer, the chief experience officer for Verizon Wireless in this concept store, which looks more like a coffee shop than a store that sells devices. They have virtual reality and, and the one I saw was a love letter to San Francisco. So they have more of this interactive experience for the customer and it's designed as a place for the customer to spend time. Today, customers don't need to go to the mall to buy something. It's so much easier to buy it online. So what do we do with these huge empty retail spaces? They're depressing, aren't they? Places like movie theaters or malls. I think we'll reuse this space to have live events, fun, engaging, um, experiential services that will make a great way to reuse the empty malls that we're seeing today. So those are my three predictions for five years out, logistics, content, and what to do about these empty retail stores and this concept store. That's all for this episode. Please subscribe to my show. Thank you.